Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marquita. On this very quick video, yet hopefully informative, I decided to show you guys what's in my purse. So I'm a very simple girl when it comes to my bags. I'm not like all into brand names or things like that. I just love a good bag. Tote bags are my preference. And so I thought on today's video, I would show you guys what I typically keep in my bag. But first, if you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. Let's jump in. If you guys want to see what's inside my bag, make sure to stay tuned. All right, y'all, again, I'm a simple girl. I got this bag on eBay, very cheap, by the way. You guys know how I feel about gray. Love a good neutral bag. It's been holding up. I got it in this color and I got it in black as well. And I haven't had any issues with it. I keep my bags right over there. They're tucked in that top drawer. And then I've also got some tote bags back there. Again, uh, very inexpensive bags. I just wanna make sure that it holds up very well and that it fits what I need it to fit. So I switch my bags out every so often, but I typically lean towards neutral colors. So I'm gonna show you what I typically keep in my bag. As you can see why I need tote bags because I like to carry around a lot of things. So this thing is super heavy. So we're just gonna pull everything out, kind of talk you through all of this stuff and let you know kind of how I use all of it. So first and foremost, this bag has a little pocket right here. I don't typically keep anything in there, uh, but I do put like trash in there. I just keep that open for like miscellaneous things that I just need to tuck in there and purge out later. So that's why it's clean right now because I had some trash in there that I just needed to uh, purge out and that makes it to where my bag isn't cluttered and I can keep it pretty much organized. As you can see, it's very organized and I love it. So first and foremost, I keep this Erin Condren bag in here and this is very essential for me to make sure again there's no clutter because I can keep a lot of essential things in here so I'm going to show you guys what I keep in this bag this is just like toiletries and just important things I need to have on the go first and foremost I've got my Advil I need to have this um, every so often I may have a headache and I just like to have it on the go and plus I think I'm the type of girl where people can come to me and ask me for things because they know I'm probably gonna have it and so this is just an important thing to have on the go I think everybody should have aspirin in their purse and so I just keep that for people who may need it and if I need it myself then Every girl needs some lip gloss. So I've got some Alme lip gloss in here. This is one of my favorite lip glosses. Very neutral, very cute, love it. So I keep it in my purse just in case I need to do some touch up. And then of course, hand sanitizer. We all need hand sanitizer from time to time. So this one is in a apricot or a peach, something like that. It smells really, really good. I love it. Oh, it's Peach Splash. It is just from Target Up and Up brand. I think I got it on a couponing deal. I got a few of these. So it's just a little small size that I can just keep in that bag, of course, so that way I can pull it out when I need to use it. And then we've got Band-Aids. Y'all, I have two kids and my kids have lots of friends who of course have bumps and bruises from time to time so i think every mom should have band-aids in her purse so i've just got a few of them in a larger size i don't have the smaller size but eventually i will probably need to add some of those in there but these have come in in clutch guys these have just been just great to have um, on those situations where you know you have an occasional accident also essential is a tampon or a pad. I keep that in my purse and actually one of my friends last week, she asked if I had one and of course, yep, I do have one. So I constantly restock that in my purse just so I can have it for those who may need it and also for myself just in case. I've got some mascara, of course. This is just your basic mascara, great lash. Uh, of course, it's super inexpensive, but it's great to just have, again, when you have those touch-up moments. I have another uh, mascara as well. This is from Mary Kay. My friend is a distributor with Mary Kay, and she's constantly asking me if I could support her, and so I try to from time to time, so I just keep those two in my purse, along with an eyebrow pencil. I think this is essential as well. 
So that's all of the makeup that I keep in my bag, I believe. I do have one more eyebrow pencil, but it's pretty much the same as this one. So that's typically what I take on the go in terms of makeup. I'm just a pretty simple girl. I also keep some chapstick in my bag. This is Soft Lips. Uh, this, I'm not sure what brand this is. I guess it's Soft Lips. It's in pearl and it's got just a little bit of a sheen to it when you put it on. And so I love it and I just keep it again on hand just in case. So that's what it looks like on the inside. So this is actually all of the makeup that I keep in my bag. You can see how much of a simple girl I am, right? So I just keep that again for those on the go moments where you may need it. So next up, we've got cough drops. I have been a little bit sick lately, so I've been popping these things like crazy. So I just have them in my purse just in case I need them. So that is everything that I keep in this Erin Condren bag. It has a little gold action on the back for you to attach it. Of course, it is typically for a planner. It's called the Planny Pack but I keep it in my purse, it just works for me. So I'm gonna tuck all of this back in and then I'm gonna show you what else I've got in my purse. All right, next up, I've got my budgeting cash envelopes. You guys have seen this in recent videos where I have done budget plan with me's. I love this. It is Milo brand, as you can see there. It is fantastic. I love this thing so much. You guys know I do the cash list cash envelope system. So within here, I just have cash envelopes and they are from my shop. You guys already pretty much have seen the inside of this. And it's also my wallet. So I'm going to show you guys just in case you haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure most of you have. So, of course, oop, I've got all of my receipts in here because uh, whenever my husband goes out to buy something, if he uses my card, then I ask him for a receipt. And so I've got to tuck those in the pockets that they go in so I can factor my budget. And so I just keep my ID here on this side and then credit cards on that side. I've got some a dollar in here. I don't really typically keep cash. I do have some change in here as well. And then I've got like my health insurance cards and Costco card and all that stuff on that side. So I want to become an all cash spender. You guys have heard me say that before. I'm just working my way towards that goal. And then here are all of the cash envelopes that I use. And I have a Muji pen. So again, you guys have seen this before. Just thought I would show those who maybe haven't. And then there's a pocket here just in case you need it. So I'm gonna tuck these back in and that's next up. All right, I also have my skinny mini planner in here. So this is also a cash envelope system which I have removed everything out of so that I can put my skinny mini planner in here. It has been working out so well to have a little planner on the go that I can just jot some notes in and just, you know, random things. And then we have a Muji pin there as well. So this is perfect for an on the coat for an on-the-go planner. I don't typically keep anything here, but I do have the option to tuck some things in there if I would like. So that is next. And then we've got my budget planner. Yes, I love this thing. You guys know I'm a budget girl now, trying to stick with it. And so this is just my budget planner that I use to budget out all of my shop expenses. And uh, it's been working out again very well. You guys know I do the paycheck to paycheck budget. You guys have seen my recent videos. And so of course that's gotta stay in there. So just in case I want to budget on the go or I need to write some things in there, I have my cash envelope system as well as my budget planner and I can just write in what I need to write in. I don't always keep this in my purse, but for the most part I do, but I definitely keep my cash envelope system in my purse. So that's up next. And then we've got my iPad. Because I use this at my religious meetings, I need to have it and I don't want to forget it. So I typically tend to just leave it in my purse. So you guys know I love rose gold. So I've got a rose gold keyboard. I'm just going to show you guys because I know some of you may have questions about it. So rose gold keyboard. I don't typically use it that much, but I love having it here. There's a power switch on the side that you can use to switch it on and off. And it lights up, which is really, really cool. And the beautiful thing about it is that it swivels. So I don't have to use it that way. I can use it like this, which is what I typically lean to, towards doing. But if I do need to use the keyboard, I can. And again, I can swivel it this way. So I tend to keep it on my lap like this. And I'll just turn it this way and then lean it back a little bit. And that's typically how I use it. I do have a screen protector on top of it, which is called Paper Like. It's amazing because I do use my Apple Pencil which is tucked right here behind. All of this stuff is available on Amazon, by the way. And so I like to have my pencil attached to my iPad case. And so this cool little thing, again, is on Amazon and it makes it easy for you to just tuck in your pen in and out. All right, so with this paper-like 
screen protector just to kind of give you guys an example let me just put a new note out here so i can let you guys hear oh i can let you hear from here it sounds like paper i don't know if you hear it and so typically what was happening with my ipad is that it was too slippery so i needed a solution to where i could easily write on it it doesn't matter to me that it sounds like paper um but i wanted it to be able to not you know be as slippery when I was writing because I do use my iPad to take notes for my meetings so it's very important that I have a way to write in notes and then also for it to not be slippery oh my husband wrote that note for me by the way I decided to keep it in here because he's so sweet and so I typically just come here I'll do a video maybe sometime in the future showing you guys how I use this but it's awesome because it doesn't slide as much and that was you know just a little bit tricky for me so now it feels like I'm actually writing on paper for the most part. So this is very important for me to have on the go, especially also if I want to do some uh, spiritual planning on the go or Bible study on the go, I have my iPad already with me. So again, I just keep it in here just so it's ready. I'm constantly referring to it to just make sure that I have enough battery power. I am at 53%. This thing lasts for a long time. This is the newest iPad. And I think it's like seven inches. So not just in case you guys are wondering. And so yeah, so I just keep that in my purse just so I can have it available. All right, so we're rounding things out. Next up, I love gum. So I just keep this double mint gum in my purse. It doesn't fit in this plenty pack. So I just kind of tuck it in there. Also, lotion is very important. This also does not fit in the plenty pack, so I just kind of toss it in my bag. But it is a tangerine smell good flavor. And I love it. Uh, I just, again, I'm not sure what this brand is. I probably got it from... Um, I don't know where I got it from y'all, but I just keep it in my bag because again, I think every girl needs lotion in her bag. I also y'all, I don't know, y'all may think this is weird, but I keep socks in my bag. The reason why I do is because I am a stickler about walking on bare floors with no shoes on. And I know a lot of people don't allow shoes in their house. Uh, we don't mind. Um, but I know a lot of people do take them off when they come in our house, but we have all hardwood floors. And so we really don't mind. Um, but some people do. And so when I go over to their house to visit, instead of asking them for socks, I just keep socks in my purse. And so that's what I've got here. I wear them a few times and then I will, of course, toss them in the laundry and grab a new pair. So I do keep socks in my purse. I also keep a comb in my purse and a scrunchie in my purse, y'all, just in case we need to tie that hair up or comb it out. Uh, I do have a six-year-old daughter, which means her hair is constantly looking crazy and I need to be able to fix it whenever I need to. So I just keep a comb there and I keep this scrunchie in here also if I need to scratch my hair I am wearing twists right now that works great for that all right lastly this should actually be this is what I mean by trash this should be in this pocket so that way I can purge it into the trash when I clean my purse up this thing is awesome I love this mobile charger so this initially I purchased for my Canon ADD camera so that I can film on the go and not run out of battery power but I haven't used it for that yet I typically just use it for just you know keeping it in my purse to charge up my phone this thing lasts forever I'm not sure the battery power but if you guys have questions just let me know and I'll post the link below and so I just keep this for on the go charging of my phone uh, this has come in very handy for those times when you're just not available to get to a charger and then also if I am at someone's house that has an iPhone I can use just the cord only and save on some battery power so I pull this out from time to time and I charge it up in the car because I do have a car cord so I don't bring it into the house to charge it I charge it in the car and uh, it just works to have one of these on hand I think everybody should have that in their purse as well so that's the last thing that I keep in my purse this is all my stuff as you guys saw it stays pretty organized of course I keep my phone in there as well and it just works to have everything pretty much that I need on the go so one last thing that I wanted to mention that I do keep in my purse from time to time is my ear pods so from time to time I'll throw these in my purse so I can listen to music on the go uh, especially if I'm like going to get my nails done or hair done or something like that it's great to have the ear pods so I just keep them charged up just so I, they're always charged but when I'm ready to take them I just literally pull this off the kids kind of tore it up a little bit I just gotta fix that so that this stays in here because it should stay in here correctly got this on Amazon as well this is for my phone my watch and then of course the ear pods and I have some ear pod covers in here my ear is my ear y'all is shaped funny so the ear pods don't always fit in my ear correctly so I needed these covers that loop around your ear and uh, so I add them on top of my ear pods so that way I can fit them in my, in my ear properly so I'm 
yeah my ears just shaped funny so anyways i got this case off of amazon you guys know it's rose gold anything rose gold is going to be what i tend to lean towards and of course the ear pods are in here you just lift that up and there they go so i just keep this in here and then when i do want to put it in my purse i have a little keychain thingamajig here so i can just you know open this thing up and just clip it right on top of my bag or you know whatever i decide to clip it on or my keys or whatever and that just works but i typically just keep it here because again i don't always bring them with me but i like having the ability to bring them with me if i want see like the kids messed that up so i have to fix that back but anyway so i'm just going to tuck that right there so that's what i bring every so often so again this is everything so i'm going to go ahead and put it back in my purse make sure that it's organized so again this is my bag cheap little bag y'all don't talk about my bag i love my bag and it works for me so that's it guys i just thought i would jump on really quickly and show you guys what i keep in my purse just in case you were interested let me know if you have any questions about any of the stuff that you have seen today and comment below and let me know what do you typically keep in your purse are you as simple as i am when it comes to putting things in your purse are you a person that really is into bags i want to hear all about it so comment below let me know all about it thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you stopping by my channel today hopefully you enjoyed this video which means you will give me a thumbs up and and also consider subscribing to my channel so again thank you guys so much for stopping by i really appreciate it hopefully you guys will come back and catch another video in which case i'll see you guys then